review on this mini backhoe. Um, you can see what we've, what we're starting to do. Um, without this thing, I'd be, it'd take me forever to dig this. So I'm glad I have it. Uh, I've had it for over two years now, and I haven't had any problems with the with the engine. Um, the only thing I've I've had to weld a few things on the bucket and on this part here. If you show that, uh, there was a big crack here. There's a lot of pressure when you. Um, when you try to lift up, uh, if you get under a big rock or something, it puts all the pressure on there. And, um, I could compare it to uh, an excavator because I've had a, quite a few hours on an excavator. Um, the big difference is there's no weight to this thing. So the only power it has is against the feet there. Um, it and there's not a lot of weight. So when you're pushing down, um, I think you'll see that when I'm, I'll show you a little bit, but you have to continually uh, raise the bucket up when you're pulling, when you're dragging the teeth, if it's, especially if it's hard, because there's no weight here. And if you lift up the front of this thing, it's just gonna roll forward. So if you don't have those feet, dug into the ground there's no power it's just gonna move back and forth um, so that's one disadvantage to this thing over a backhoe uh, is the weight it's small one big advantage uh, to this thing is you don't have to have a trailer to move it you basically put the you you, you put the tires you, you can switch the tires to the back of this thing and uh, and it just rolls down the highway on these and you just hook it up to your truck or whatever there so that's a super advantage you don't have to have a trailer um, it's got a nine and a half horsepower Kohler gas motor um, and let me just show you a little bit uh, me using it so you can see how it works we'll start it up um, that's the choke that has a throttle here and then actually a throttle pedal there and I'm, I'm too big, as you can see, for this machine to run it like that. So I basically just put my heel on it and I run it full throttle all the time, just like that.
great is there's a great big rock right there and when I get underneath of it, uh, it has plenty of power to pull the rock out, but the limiting factor is the weight of the machine. So when I get under the rock, lot of power it's just this lightweight machine so that's the limiting factor on what you can do with it basically and you'll see me bumping bumping this down when I'm dragging my, my teeth through the rocks and that's basically to keep the uh, the feet on the ground because if I just drag across it'll lift up the end the front end of this so I have to keep bumping this down That conduit filled with wire is about six thousand dollars. At least that's what they're charging us. say it before, I'm actually very impressed with this machine. It, it always 
always surprises me how much power it, it has, especially just looking at the little uh, hydraulic pump and a nine and a half horsepower motor. Uh, I'm very impressed with it. show you just real quick the bucket also uh, I welded this piece of angle on there because it was just about uh, to tear this bucket loose from the mount see as you can see it's bent it's not straight there anymore so I welded this piece of angle on there and ever since it's been really strong And I welded, I, so I welded that and I welded that corner piece there. And that's all I've done to this machine. And I've done quite a bit of digging with it and I abuse it a lot. So I'd say, uh, I only paid $1,200 for it. Shipped from, straight from China. Uh, I had to go to the Port of Seattle to pick it up. Um, with my truck. So it's not shipped to your door or anything. You have to go to the port and get it. Uh, but I'd say $1,200 is a pretty good price for this, this much machine. I mean, uh, I've seen reviews on the Harbor Freight. This is kind of like a Harbor Freight style mini backhoe. It's the only place I've ever seen one before is Harbor Freight. And uh, people complain that uh, the hydraulics are really slow on the Harbor Freight uh, mini backhoe. And I haven't, I haven't seen that with this. I, I consider this to be relatively fast. Um, and it's surprising because it's a nine and a half horse motor. And look at the, the hydraulic pump. I'm not a expert in hydraulics but that's the little tiny machine that drives everything I haven't changed the hydraulic fluid yet it has a uh, uh, oil filter for the hydraulic fluid uh, it says 100 psi on the filter that's surprising that it's only 100 PSI. And then there's a temperature gauge over here. It tells you how hot the... I think that's kind of cool. How hot the hydraulic fluid is getting. And I've seen it get up to about 120. Uh, but no hotter than that. And I like the fact that all these hoses are wrapped in this rubber uh, protective uh, wrap. Uh, and the motor, I really like the motor. It's easy to start. It runs great. It idles beautifully. And uh, that's about all I can think of. Uh, I'm glad I bought it. It's well worth the 1200 bucks. And I believe I got it. Uh, I went, I, I remember going on Alibaba, I believe it is, and negotiating directly with the, with the manufacturer. And I don't think they even built it until after I ordered it. I paid for it and then they built it and shipped it here. Uh, so... 
That's all I have to say. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm.